Hey everyone, welcome back to another practice with Laura and Jenny. Today's practice is centered around our center. So working the entire circumference of our abdominals, um, because as we work toward arm balancing, and I'm um, not going to be secretive about what we're practicing today, we are going to go toward um, our very favorite arm balance crow pose. Um, often as teachers, we hear students say that they uh, don't have the upper body strength or the arm strength for arm balances. And really what we are looking for is a deep connection to our core muscles. So what I am now lovingly going to call bakasana, meaning crow pose, today it's bakorsana. So uh, what we're going to be recommending today is to have a strap. As you can see, I've looped up mine about shoulder width distance apart. Um, so if you have a loopable strap um, or a tie or a belt that you can loop up, um, that would be what we would recommend having today. We're going to use it for a couple things. And then a block uh, or a book or a shoebox will do just fine as a prop. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll just have some fun today working around our midsection. So let's go ahead and find child's pose. And once you're ready, if you'd like to start your music, you are welcome to go ahead and start that now. Settle here in child's pose just for a solid minute or so. Okay, take some deep breaths just to reconnect to your breathing. And then take a few more moments to reconnect with the physical layers of your body. The very first outer layers of your body. And the skin, the muscles, and the deeper, more subtle feelings of the body. What can you notice? What can you tune into? What does connecting to your breath do to your ability to go deeper inside of your space, inside of your body? And stretch the forehead forward and slowly come up into table pose. A slow moving cat and cow initiating from your tail. Start to lift just the tailbone, then begin to arch the ribs, then the chest, then the heart. Now from your tail, start to tuck the tail first, then ribs, then the heart, then push the mat away, get into the shoulders. Tail first, navel, ribs, heart, Look forward, stay here, just your tail. Tuck, feel how that pulls into the lower abdominals. Pull ribs, draw heart, push away the floor. One more time, it's less about breath. Just find the small movements, the mechanics. Tail, navel, ribs, chest. Now stay, just your tail, tuck, feel that deep connection as you pull in, pull in through the belly, now pull in through the ribs, pull in through the upper chest, and then slowly, tail first, just come to neutral. So neither arching nor rounding. Straight arms, elbows are straight, elbow creases forward. Let the shoulder blades draw in toward your spine, keep your arms straight. Now push the floor away, space between your shoulder blades up. Do it again, chest sinks, arms stay straight. Push, protraction of your shoulders. Pull, retraction. Push, protraction, so shoulder flossing. Drop the chest, pull blades in. Push the chest, blades out. One more, drop the chest, blades in. Push, blades out. Step the hands forward, bring your shoulders forward, and control down to your belly. Lengthen your legs, press the front of the hips on the floor, turn your palms face down and grab or press the floor. Inhale and lift your chest. 
Inhale and lift your legs. Inhale and lift your arms. Shalambhasana locus pose nice and strong in the back of your core. Exhale and return back down. Plant your hands. And then tuck your toes. And we'll lift up just into a gentle sphinx pose here. Good. Now driving back through your feet in your sphinx pose, imagine pulling your chest forward. Now very slowly, ribs are going to start to plug in toward the back of your spine. Navel pulls in and lifts off the ground. Hips lift off the ground. Thighs lift off the ground. And now, knees lift off the ground. Forearm plank. Shoulders and hips at the same height. Take a moment. Nice and strong inhale. Strong exhale. And gently come back down into Sphinx Pose. Take one more inhale here. Pull the chest forward. Come on down. Plant your hands at your sides. Keep the chest open. Drive through your feet and press up into plank. Go to down dog, first one. The first few movements were just to reconnect to the entire circumference of the abdominal wall, um, mostly the front and the back, not necessarily the sides quite yet. You can take just a moment or two in down dog, breathe it out. Inhale, stretch the right leg into the air. Exhale, pull the right knee over toward your right elbow, but keep it off of your arm and hover it just behind the arm. Hold. Find plank. Lift the hips to down dog. Strong breath in, strong breath out. Inhale, stretch the left leg into the air. Bring the left knee over toward your left arm. Hover behind the arm. Keep your hips high. Keep your arms straight. Grip the mat with your fingertips. Plug your navel in. Find plank. Breath in. Down dog, breath out. Take a moment. Inhale, stretch the right leg into the air. Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Lower your left knee to the floor. Inhale into low lunge, arms go to the ceiling. Turn your palms forward, bend your elbows, and goal post to the arms. Breathe in. Exhale, turn your navel to the right. Squeeze your shoulder blades into your spine as you turn. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale to center. Exhale to your right. Pause and hold. Inhale to center. Hands come to the floor. Pause. Scoot your left foot out of the way. Come back to seated. Now rock back onto the tailbone, straighten your legs, Navasana, straight legs is a bit much for the hamstrings, bend your knees. And the point here is less about straight legs, more about core control. Keep reaching with your arms, option hands behind the thighs. Cross right shin in front of your left, fold and twist to your right, Sukhasana. Inhale the center, exhale to your left. Still warming up, yogis. Big breath. Inhale the center, shift it forward, easy step to down dog. Take one full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg, place the left foot forward into lunge. Drop the right knee, rise to low lunge. Turn the palms, pull the elbows down, goal post. Breathe in. Exhale, turn to your left, squeeze your inner left thigh. Inhale to center. Exhale to your left. Inhale, center. 
Exhale to your left. Now pause here as you hold your twist. Stay strong in your back foot. And come back to center. Hands down. Scooch your right foot. And then drop back onto your hips. Lift up into Navasana Boat Pose. Again, straight legs or bent knees. Hands open or hands behind the thigh. One more breath. Good. Cross the left shin in front of your right. Turn, fold over your left thigh. Lift up, turn and fold over your right thigh. Take a little release there. Come back to center, plant your hands, take it back into downward facing dog. And find the tiptoes, look forward, and as you tiptoes, keep your weight on your palms. And see how high you can get up onto those tiptoes as you come forward. Find a halfway lift, extend your spine, exhale and fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach the arms up overhead, touch the palms, and bring the hands to heart. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips or palms, tuck the chin and look back. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Plant your hands, step into plank pose, and lower down halfway. Inhale, rise, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe here. And find your tiptoes, exhale completely, tiptoe or control float up to the top of the mat, halfway lift, exhale and fold, inhale to standing, reach the arms up overhead, hands to heart, inhale, arms reach, Urdhva Hastasana, forward fold, Uttanasana, inhale, head up, Ardha Uttanasana, Step or hop it back, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Down Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And just take a few breaths here. Find the tiptoes and switch your gaze forward. Exhale. Step or hop to the top of your yoga mat. Halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold Uttanasana. Inhale. Stretch the arms up overhead. Hands to heart. Exhale. One more round. Inhale. Reach up. Surya Namaskar A. Exhale. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, keep your chest up, Chaturanga Dandasana, step or float. Urva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Deep breaths. And come to tiptoes again as you look forward. Step or float to the top, come to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold Uttanasana. Inhale, rise to standing, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana, Samastitihi, a neutral standing pose. 
Let's go ahead and now walk the feet out a little bit wider apart. Keep the toes forward for the most part, maybe a little bit turned out. Take an inhale, arms are going to lift overhead. Then hands through heart come down into a half squat or just like a, a sort of gym squat. Okay, half malasana we'll say. Find the shins, arch the back, lift your chest. Now keep the knees bent as you exhale, round your spine, protract your shoulders, pull the belly up and in. Inhale, arch your back, cow pose. Exhale, round your back, cat pose. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round. Two more, harder to do. Inhale, arch and lift, hold your squat. Exhale, round, work the hips. One more, inhale, arch and lift. Nice and strong, exhale and round. Now go ahead and let the hips drop down. Release the hands and just kind of take a malasana, what we call a rinse out. So just kind of swing from side to side. You can let those heels lift. Just kind of let the hips move a little bit here. Sometimes it just feels kind of nice to get a little bit of hip mobility this way. Okay, coming back to center, plant your hands and with a little bit of a bent elbow, press away the earth, get up high in your tiptoes, keep your knees off your arms and now straighten your arms. Okay, keep your weight on your hands, keep looking forward, step right back in a down dog. Hmm, I promise I'll make that harder. So if you're like, what was that? That wasn't hard enough. I promise we'll make it harder. Lift the right leg. Exhale, step the foot through in between your hands. Inhale, find your crescent pose. Open your arms, twist to your right. Inhale, back to crescent pose, lift your arms. Straighten your leg, turn to your left, wide-legged forward fold, hands come down. Plant your palms, get up high under your tiptoes, straighten your arms, get your hips as high over your shoulders as you can, like you're going to float them. Drop your heels, turn back forward into lunge. Step it back in a chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, rise, upward facing. Exhale, push back, downward facing. Inhale, stretch the left leg into the air. Place the left foot through to lunge. Inhale to crescent. Exhale, twisted crescent, open your arms. Inhale, back to crescent pose, straighten your front leg, turn to the right, exhale, circle down, forward fold. Inhale, straight arms get up as high as you can under the tiptoes. Heels down, turn it forward, find your lunge, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, rise. Down dog, breathe. Inhale, stretch the right leg, here we go. Exhale, step to lunge. Inhale to crescent. Twist on the exhale. Inhale, crescent pose. Straighten, turn to your left. Exhale, wide-legged fold. Plant the hands. Inhale, get onto the tiptoes, navel in. Exhale, turn it forward. Plant the hands, chaturanga, same breath, go for it. Inhale, rise. Kick up the heat a little bit. Exhale, down dog. Second round, left side. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, step to lunge. Rise on the inhale to crescent. Twist, exhale. Inhale up to center. Turn, shift, wide-legged fold. Exhale. Plant, lift up onto the tiptoes. Breathe in. Exhale, forward, chaturanga. Hold. Inhale, rise. Down dog, exhale. One full breath here. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale the lunge. Rise on the inhale, crescent. Twist on the exhale, strong twist. Inhale to center. Turn, shift, circle down, wide legged fold. Plant, get up high. Look forward as you get to the tiptoes. Lower, turn. Exhale, chaturanga, breathe, hold, keep your chest open. Inhale, rise. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg, last one. Step it through. Rise, breathe and reach the arms. Twist, exhale. Inhale, arms lift, turn. 
circle, fold, plant, lift onto the toes. Exhale, turn, plant, chaturanga, hold. Inhale, rise. Down dog, nice work. Big breaths in, big breaths out. Find the tiptoes, look forward, hips high, step or float, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, release. Nice inhale, rise to standing, reach the arms above the head, hands the heart. Feet are going to go about hip width distance or just slightly wider. If you need to turn your toes out, you can as we come down. Think about a mini squat here. Arms are going to go up, bend the knees. Drop the hips and drop them low, low, lower, lower. Come down to seated. Gracefully. <laughs> Grab your prop. If you have a block, if you have a big book, if you have a shoebox, um, if you have a, a, a small pet, you can lay down on your back. Bend your knees, shins parallel, prop on your shins, on top of them, not in between. Hands behind the head. Lengthen your neck, and now lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Bring your hands onto your thighs. Press your thighs into your palms. Press your palms into your thighs. Draw your navel in down toward the mat and press. Nothing more to do. Now hold the thighs and release the head back down. That was stage one. Fingertips go behind the skull or behind the ears. This is less to do with your head, head, hands holding your head. Now, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Keep balancing block. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Lift, lower lift, hold, straighten your legs, pull the knees in, straighten your legs, pull them in, straighten, balance the block, pull them in, straighten, keep breathing, pull them in, straighten, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and release. Block goes off to the side. Cross the legs, rock up to seated, step it on back down dog. Deep breaths. Here we are. Inhale, one-legged down dog, right leg in the air. Right knee to right arm, hover, don't touch it. Keep your shoulders forward. One-legged plank, don't touch the toes down. One-legged down dog, leg in the air. Step the foot forward, find your lunge. Spin your left heel down to the floor, set up for warrior two. And go ahead, backstroke all the way up as you find that full warrior two. Take a second here to adjust your stature. And sweep the arms toward the left and take your left arm underneath the right. Eagle arms. Straighten your right leg. Exhale and lunge it. Straighten. Lunge a little deeper. Straighten. Squeeze the arms. Lunge. Straighten. Little deeper lunge. Straighten. Lunge. Hold, turn your elbows toward the top left corner of your mat, fold, humble warrior, sinking into the right inner thigh. Fingertips or forearms might come all the way to the earth. Press into your left leg to do this. Soften into your right. Inhale back up, open your arms. Straighten the right leg. 
Turn all 10 toes to face the left long edge. Interlace the hands behind your back. Lengthen your chest. Exhale and fold. Wide-legged forward fold, variation C. Keep drawing the knuckles up and away. Return the hands. This is where we're going to want to have that strap looped up, shoulder width distance nearby. So if you don't have it yet, go ahead and pause till you grab that strap, whatever you have that can be looped up. Um, and if you don't have a strap, it's okay. We'll find ways for you to do this without it. Now bend the knees, turn the toes out, heels in, straighten the legs, and exhale, bend the knees and sink the hips. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, sink the hips. Straighten the leg, working into the hips. Bend the knees, sink the hip. One more time, straighten. Here's where we want to have that strap. Bend the knees, lengthen your chest forward, hold on to your strap, and we're going to come up into goddess pose. So we're going to keep the knees out, toes out. The strap shoulder width distance is going to come around the upper arms. Those of you who don't have a strap, it's okay. Just do straight arms, palms press forward. Now, shoulder flossing again. Push your hands forward and away. Now pull your shoulder blades in. Push it away. Pull it in. Push. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Hold. If you have that strap, I want you to pull against it, like you're trying to rip the strap in two pieces, pulling it wide apart. If you don't have it, just imagine you're pulling apart. Feel this around your mid-rib section. Keep pulling. Straighten. Release that strap, set it off to the side, turn it forward, cartwheel down. Step it on back down, dog or vinyasa. Same work, left side. Inhale, left leg. Knee to elbow, hover, don't let it touch. Keep yourself forward, one-legged plank, one-legged down dog. Step the left foot through, find lunge. Right heel to the floor, warrior two on the inhale. Arms go to your right, and you're going to take the right arm under your left, eagle arms. Straighten your left leg, exhale and lunge. Inhale, straighten. Exhale to lunge. Straighten. Lunge. Straighten. Lunge. Straighten. Lunge. Turn the elbows to the top right. Fold, humble warrior. Inhale, start to lift back up, unwind, straighten leg, turn to the right, wide-legged forward fold C, interlace behind your back, open your chest, exhale, forward fold, arms just lift up and over, take a couple breaths here. Release the hands. Have that strap nearby. And then shorten your stance a little bit. Take your heels in and your toes out. Just a couple little bit of squat work here to help the hips. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Straighten the legs. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Straighten like a fold. Bend and sink the hips. Straighten and fold. Bend and sink the hips. Straighten and fold. Now, this time, you're going to bend and sink the hips and up. Keep the toes turned out to a degree that you can maintain. Knees out, chest up. Strap, if you have it, around the upper arm. So we're going above the elbow. Okay? And you're pushing out against the strap. Now, shoulder blades in, shoulder blades forward. In, forward. In, forward. 
in, forward, in, forward. Hold, like you're trying to pull the strap apart, like you're trying to push forward with your hands. Straighten the legs. Release the strap. Turn it forward. Cartwheel it down. Vinyasa or down dog. So a little more fun work for you. We're going to want to have that block type prop. Look toward your hands. And then with control, take your right knee forward, point the right toes, left foot in, come down onto your hips. All right, so grab that prop. We have blocks, but this can again be used just as a, we just want to wait on the shins here. Um, a a shoebox or a book will also work um, quite well. All right, little different than just putting it right on top of the shins. We are now going to connect the block to the right thigh and your right tricep. Right elbow will still stay bent. The shins will stay parallel. Fingertips behind the head. Left leg is going to straighten forward and hover. Left leg goes up to the ceiling. Left leg down and hover. Left leg up. Down and hover, up, down and hover, up, down and hover, up, and release the left foot. Release the block, right foot down. Block connects to left thigh, left tricep, so just above the elbow. Right shin comes up, right foot forward, right leg up, forward. Up, forward, up, forward, up, forward, up, forward, up, right foot down. Release the block. Okay, quick and painful. This gets even better. Block to right thigh and right upper arm. Now look at that right arm. It should be like a, almost a, a nice parallel forearm to the floor. Left arm does the same thing. Hands are not behind the head. Left knee comes up alongside the right knee. Left leg goes forward. Left arm back. Now knee to elbow. Left leg forward, left arm back. Now knee to elbow. Take it out. Pull it in, knee to elbow. Out. Pull it in. Out. Pull it in. Out, pull it in, out, pull it in, and hold, and release. Block on the left thigh and the left upper arm. Forearms are parallel. Right shin lifts. Right leg goes long, right arm reaches up. Pull it in. Take it out. Knee to elbow like crow. Take it out. Pull it in. Take it out. Pull it in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Hold. And release. Nice. All right. Knees in. Feet together. Rock up to boat pose. Don't let those feet touch. Happy holding. Now Baddha Konasana, bottoms of feet together, knees out wide. Take a little fold here and relax the abdomen. Just a little counter for you. Now go ahead and lift up. You have the option to either just step in a down dog or take a jump back to Chaturanga from here, those you'd like to work it. All right, a little more work here from down dog. Inhale, right leg is going to lift. Now slowly pull the right knee in towards your navel, in towards your upper right arm, outside of the hand, step it, and place the foot. Spin your left heel down, keep the right hand to the floor, and stretch your left arm up, variation on side angle pose, hip opener here. 
Option to keep left arm up or wrap the hand behind your back. Now this is not about binding inside angle. We're just giving that left shoulder a little bit of a, a stretch in the front. Okay, moving with slow control here. This is not about momentum. Slide the right fingertips forward, left hand on your hip. Now with control, slide into half moon. Scoop that left leg in. Flex through the foot. Send your left arm forward alongside the ear. Now, left knee and left elbow touch like you did with that core. Straighten them both again. Knee to elbow touch. Straighten it again. One more knee and elbow touch and hold. Squeeze together. Open it again. Now slowly bend your right knee and touch back down to side angle. Take your left arm up to the ceiling. Straighten your right leg into triangle pose. Send your gaze up and just hold here. Circle the left hand down, bend your right knee, step back into downward facing dog. Shift the body back forward into plank pose, come all the way to the floor. Lengthen your chest, slide your forearms forward. Plug the belly in, tuck your toes under, and slow one fluid motion, pull up your ribs, your belly, your hips, your thighs, and your knees to forearm plank. Turn your left fingertips to the right so that left forearm is more like a parallel to the top of your mat. Turn your hips and send your right arm up to the ceiling, forearm side plank, and you get a nice solid hold. Breathe here, nice and strong. Good. Halfway done. Keep pressing away with the left forearm, squeezing through the left side body, squeezing through your inner thighs. Good, hold us five, four, three, two, and one. Circle the right arm down, push to plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. And inhale, stretch the left leg into the air. Here we go. Slowly pull it in to ribs, toward the left shoulder, toward the left outer hand and step it there. Spin the right heel down, stretch your right arm open, side angle variation, option to take a half bind. Now, right hand to hip, left fingertips forward, Slow and controlled, find half moon. Right arm goes overhead, right knee to right elbow. Stretch them both out. Pull it slowly in, stretch it out. Pull it in and hold, keep them connected. Stretch it out, bend your knee, take your time as you find side angle again. Reach your right arm to the ceiling, left leg straightens, triangle. Right hand down, step it on back to down dog. Shift forward into plank, lower to the belly. Lift your chest and slide your forearms forward. Tuck the toes under in one fluid motion. Exhale, ribs, belly, hips, thighs, knees lift, forearm plank. Right fingertips turn to the left, more of a parallel. Swing your heels, lift your left arm. Forearm side plank, solid hold here. Breathe. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Find one spot to look at. Halfway there. Good. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Five, four, three, two, and one hand comes down, push to plank, straight arms, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. 
Take a child's pose. Knees drop. Hips reach back. Rest your arms. Take a moment here. We will um, have some options to use the strap one more time, those of you who have it. Um, if you do not have access to a strap, again, it's okay. Um, these two postures you can do, you're just going to have more of like a, um, your muscles will still do the engaging we want them to do. You're just not going to do them with a prop assist, and that's fine. Come up to seated. So if you do have that strap, we're just going to show you what's happening here. Okay, your strap is going to again going to go in the same place it did before on your upper arm just above the elbow. If you're without a strap, I want you to imagine as your arms go straight forward that you do have a strap around your arms. We can get the muscles to fire up either way. Okay, and then as you do that, I want you to make it taut enough that you can push out against the strap. Flex your wrists so we have the palms pushing forward. Now feel your navel pull in. And as you push out against that strap, imagine these finger type muscles that wrap around the ribs engaging, holding and stabilizing the ribs. Push that air forward and then release. Okay, strap is a little different. Now you're going to widen that strap a little bit so you might need to pause and, and loop it up. We're gonna take it a little bit bigger and it's gonna go around the rib cage. So not around the belly, not around the chest. It's going um, just around what is probably the, the middle of the rib cage, roughly. Okay, and I want you to make it taut enough that when you inhale, you can kind of feel yourself puff up against that strap. Again, if you don't have a strap, you're still doing the posture either way. All right, we're going to come to plank. We're going to take five breaths here, and on the inhale, I want you to push the mat away and try to imagine as though you're pulling the mat apart from the center, okay? And feel again that sensation of stability and engagement of the finger-type muscles that wrap around the rib cage, and then release down. And go ahead and then release that strap if you have it. Take the strap off. And we're going to work our bakasana or our bakorsana, korkasana, whatever you want to call it. Find a forward fold. Take a second in your forward fold. Bakasana is not happening just yet, so don't get too excited. Plant your hands, bend your knees, lift your heels. Now lift your left foot, bring your knee to your arm, and touch it back down. Do the right, do the left, do the right, left, right, forward fold. If you want to feel your core fire up, pause it. Go ahead and do that a couple more times before we take on our full bakasana. If you are ready for bakasana, it is a bakasana hold. So we're going to take a solid three to five breaths before we work our way to chaturanga. Okay, so set your space up on your mat. If you want to lift the feet onto a block to get some more height, you can. Plant your hands, get your knees up as high as you can behind your triceps above your elbows. Squeeze your elbows in, fire up those finger-shaped muscles around your ribs like you had that strap on your chest. Push away the earth, pull your navel in, keep pushing away the ground, squeeze your heels in. And now you can either take it back to Chaturanga by stepping or jumping, up dog and hold. Don't move back to down dog. Hold your up dog. Control as you start to bend your elbows and come down into a sphinx pose. Slide your forearms forward. Take a second here if you need to roll out the neck a little bit or anything that would feel really good. And the rest of this class is like absolute feel good stuff after all of that. Come on down to crossed palms. So just stack your hands and rest the forehead on your hands. And if you need to wiggle out the hips or sway the legs a little bit, go for it. So we did a lot of front body work. Opening up the back of the shoulders to strengthen the anterior side of our core. So we're going to let ourselves just kind of open up a little bit. Take your left arm out to the left. 
bend your elbow just a little bit more like a Y shape, not a T shape. Bend your right elbow, plant your right hand, roll off to your left. So this is just a um, often known as a T stretch, but instead of a straight T shaped arm, we have a more of a Y shaped arm. Go ahead and roll it on back to the belly. Bend your left elbow, take the right arm in more of a Y shape. Roll onto your right hip, let your left leg hang. This is just a shoulder opener here. And this stretch and the next two movements, we're starting on the left side first. Um, two reasons. The first one is just a change of pattern. So traditionally in yoga, we do the right side first a lot. And it's just good for the body and the mind to switch up habits, switch up pattern a little bit. The well, second is that the left side in um, yoga philosophy tends to represent the stilling, the quieting, the calming, the cooling, more of the rest. Whereas the right side tends to represent the strength, the um, stability, um, the heat, the fire. So working on our left side first just allows us to tap into that place of quiet a little more. Go ahead, roll back onto the belly. Stack the palms under the forehead again, take another breath. Little quad stretch, bend your left knee, left hand goes back, catches a hold under the foot. Now this is not as about getting as big as you can. Um, this is not a bow pose, this is just a little quad stretch. Release the left and pick up the right. Release the right. Last one here, a little half frog stretch. Slide your left knee out about halfway up towards your left ribs. And just let that inner thigh stretch out a little bit. Slide the left foot back, half frog, stretch right side. Right knee comes out toward the right ribs just a little bit. And slide the right leg back. And then just go ahead and roll over onto your back right where you are. It's okay even if you maybe find yourself facing away from um, your screen. We're going to move into Shavasana pretty quickly. We're just going to do a little bridge flow and maybe a little supported bridge before we find Shavasana. Um, if you are uncomfortable being away from the screen, that's fine. Readjust how you need to. But we're just finding ourselves on our back. Go ahead and bend the knees, push away the floor, take a little bridge pose. 
As you exhale, flow the hips back down. And inhale, flow the hips back up into bridge. And exhale, flow the hips back down. And one more easy one, flow the hips up. Grab that prop, it can be a pillow, it can be a blanket, it can be a um, bolster. Just take it right underneath the back of the hips. Supported bridge. If you want to keep your knees bent, keep your knees bent. If you want to straighten your legs, more of a rainbow shape, go for it. Take just a solid five or six deep breaths here. And as you stay here and let some of that heat dissipate from the body, place yourself in a space of release and of comfort. Tap into that left side of our practice, the yin side of our practice. You can stay as supportive as you like to, or if you want to move to the wall and take legs up at the wall for your Shavasana, you're welcome to. If you want to just let yourself come on down, spread out right where you are. Now is the time. We're here at about the 52 minute mark, so we would encourage you to take a solid six or seven minute long Shavasana if you can, longer if you have the time. We thank you so deeply from the bottom of our hearts for joining us for another practice. We are excited to see you again hopefully soon and also excited to continue sharing our practice online. Much love to each one of you. Namaste.